is so good to be with you all. Um, great to see so many familiar faces here in the audience and to just uh, be present with you again in this great day. Uh, for the 2024 KPMG Women's Leadership Summit, each year we celebrate the KPMG Women's PGA Championship and Women's Leadership Summit. And this year, as I mentioned, it's particularly special because it is the 10th anniversary of this incredible event. If we are not more diverse, if we're not more equitable, and certainly if we're not more inclusive, we're not going to have a sustainable enterprise in the long term. If it's not in your strategy, if you're just speaking about it, not walking the talk, you're just not going to achieve your objectives. So to me, that's just really critically important to making sure that we achieve the kind of success we want to be and that we do have a long-term successful enterprise. I encourage each of you to take this time to focus on yourself, your well-being, and your strengths and your opportunities as leaders. Think about your vision for your professional path and what experiences you want to gather up to achieve your personal and professional goals. As many times People, other people will see something in you that you don't see in yourself. And it's also my obligation now uh, in my role is to help people discover their own power. I see something in them that they probably today don't see in themselves, but I'm committed to develop them to their full potential. You know, managers aren't here to manage things. Managers are here to change things and to create the conditions where all of us can bring the work that will actually change trajectories of the business. Leadership is about inspiring and creating the conditions and the processes where great work can be done faster, more collaboratively, more thoroughly than without that great leadership. The most important thing I learned in college and from KPMG was to ask for help. And it can be hard when you're always in attack mode and always in, I gotta get this, I gotta get this. And when you finally ask for help, you'll be surprised about how many people are there for you and actually generally want to help you. One of the changes that I hope to see is actually, you know, being um, challenging the status quo of women. And, you know, we, we owe it to the people, the female trailblazers who have like paved the way for us for the right to vote, for, you know, just being in roles that are not usually women dominated. Um, and I think that's one of the main way that I hope to have that change. People have range. And so, yes, you can be a gritty person who has a kind of center of gravity that's gritty, but you have a lot of range. And I think one of the things to bring ourselves to our potential is to understand what brings out our best and what brings out our worst so that we can have more good days and fewer bad ones. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present this award to one of the most respected actors in Hollywood, an advocate for women and girls all over the world, Gina Davis. It brought home to me in a very powerful way how few opportunities we give women to come out of a movie feeling inspired by the female characters. Your job is not to tell everybody where their shortcomings are. Anybody can watch a game and see what, where, where people, even if you don't know a lot about sport, you can tell the good players from the bad players. Right? That doesn't make you a coach. What makes you a coach is you take players that are deficient in certain areas and you level them up. That's the job. If you can get people to take their deficiencies and you can get them to your standard and your level of expectation, man, you can lead anybody. We won the game, Captain. We did. Overtime. We're going to go to double overtime. No. <laughs> awesome. High five. You're the best. Great stuff. Thank you, Coach Carol Lawson, everybody.